If you're struggling to keep processes and procedures organized within your business or organization, then this video is for you. We're going to be going into detail about how you can build the very foundation of your processes and procedures using Airtable and a couple of other softwares. So if that's of interest, definitely stick around and let's get into it. Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I'm the owner of Gap Consulting, where we help businesses organize and automate their processes, saving them a ton of time and allowing them to spend more time growing their business instead of getting stuck working in it. As I mentioned in this video, we're going to be going into how you can utilize Airtable along with another software in order to build the simplest and most effective way to organize your processes and procedures. So let's just get on into it. But before we do, if you're not already a subscriber to this channel, definitely click that subscribe button if you want to help or get help leveling up your Airtable and Zapier game. So, all right, that being said, let's just jump into my screen. So what you see here is a brand new database. We're going to be building this together as we go. And one other thing that I need to you know, point out before we get going is Loom. Now, if you're not already using Loom, it's a very powerful software that allows you to capture your screen and, uh, and do a bit of you know, voiceover on there as well. There are other functions to Loom. You can you know, record a quick video of yourself. Uh, but to be honest with you, the most valuable thing that we've seen from Loom is uh, when our clients employ it in a way of you know sharing information or walking through something or giving a brief tutorial. So let me just drop in over here. You'll see I've set up an example folder inside of Loom and it's really, really simple to get started uh, with Loom. They have a freemium model, meaning that you know it doesn't cost anything to get signed up and you can start using them immediately. Also, you can add them into your uh, you know, your browser itself uh, up here as one of the, uh, the add-ons. And so you can just really quickly and easily start clicking up here and then start recording a video with just the push of a button. Super easy, super efficient. Once you're done with that, once you're done with that recording, then you get something like this where you can rename the name of this video. And of course, this is just an example video. But then once you share the link to this, Anybody can watch it that you share it with. A really, really powerful tool, and this is gonna be a vital part of ironing out your processes and procedures. So let's jump back into Airtable, but before we start building, imagine what you know the typical business looks like with processes and procedures. They've got some sort of a manual built out, you know, with a lot of screenshots and you know, people writing over the screenshots with arrows or whatever, trying to draw your attention to certain points of interest. Uh, throughout those processes and procedures. Well, forget all of that. With the power of Loom, now you can just record yourself doing something and then sharing that information with your team. So the idea here is that the person in charge will uh, record the videos of the processes and procedures that they are in charge of and that you then keep a documentation of that so that in the future, if that person is you know, moved up through the ranks or if instead they're replaced or they need to go on leave or you know, any number of reasons here, other people can just fill in and they get an understanding of what that person's responsibilities were, but also how they went about doing them. So let's set this up very high level. We're just gonna call this processes and procedures. You'll see that I already created a new base and uh, and uh, gave it that name and I'm just it's is a very simple one table deal here now we are going to have a, a name of the process but let's think about the other things that are important as well we're going to have the person in charge be helpful if I could spell person in charge most often this will be a collaborator field type if you've shared access with all of the people in your database otherwise it would be fine to also make it a single select uh, type but in this case, since this is an example database, it's only shared with me, but anybody else who had access to this database would be found here in the collaborator. So this is the person who owns this procedure. Maybe you're also going to uh, want to see this by department. In the case of uh, that, you know, you might opt with a single select. So we could have things like finance, uh, accounting, uh, you know, HR, Etc. Uh, sales and marketing, whatever the different departments uh, are, you can go ahead and, uh, and give them their own dropdown. The value in this, of course, is that when people go to use this resource, 
rather than having to see all the processes and procedures for you know finance accounting blah 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 maybe they're in they're a marketing team member and all you want to do is give them access to marketing in this example all right so beyond that uh then maybe what you also have is a role uh and this could also be a single select doesn't have to be this could be filled in and so this could be you know like maybe this particular task belongs to your analysts uh this one belongs to your uh accounts payable uh hr i don't even know what to put, <laughs> what the different roles are um uh maybe hiring manager you know whatever the different roles are within that department of course these are not conditional dependencies so you'll have to you know as you build this resource uh be very thoughtful about you know what the role and the department is and then from here and this is where it gets to the good part we're going to of course then include a link to the resource or the tutorial and we're going to go with the url field type here and i'm going to save this up and what we're going to be doing is grabbing that actual information so this is example two i'm going to copy this link and of course uh, drop back into my Airtable base and imagine that this were the solution for uh, for this particular step. I'll paste that link in. All right, now I can drop back into my Loom and here I have my example uh, one and two. I just grabbed the example two, so now I'm gonna grab example one. I will copy this link and again, drop in here and I can assign this to another one, right? And so the value here is that let's say you know, this was a, a process that I managed and uh, took care of here in accounting. And then I had to go and leave or somebody else needed to step in and take over that responsibility. They now have access to that exact step. So maybe this is um, how to pay bills. And uh, and then so, you know, somebody would come in here and just watch this tutorial. And let me go ahead and uh, not, I am not actually going to play it, but they could then watch this example video and they would have access right then and there to my screen and all of the things that I had recorded and they could follow along themselves. Super effective, super efficient way of documenting processes. The other thing that you could do in here, of course, is also include uh, like a frequency. And so maybe this is something that happens and this might also be a single select. This could be something that happens weekly. This could be something that happens monthly. So that way the people who have to fill in know uh, with which frequency they need to uh, you know, address these different processes and procedures. Okay, now in terms of how to share this. So now we have created essentially the structure of this database, right? And this is a very simple database. It's a, it's a one table situation. We're not linking a lot of complicated data points to this. Now, how do we share it with our team? Well we can go ahead and create unique views. So this view is gonna be our all records view. And from here, we can create additional views that are specific to the various teams or specific to various roles. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to create one that was strictly for the accounting department. Well, then I would uh, simply create a new view as I've done here. I would name this the accounting view. And I would then set up a filter that the department is uh, strictly the accounting department. And you see that the other records are then filtered from this view. They're not gone, they're just not here. They're not in this view. So here, here all the records still exist on our all records view, but for our accounting view, of course we have this filter set up. All right, and then go into the share view option, get the, uh, the shareable grid view link, and then this link right here, that Airtable automatically generated for us is something that we could then provide to our accounting team and any new policies and procedures, any new things that we uh, you know, contributed and added to this resource would immediately show up here when people went and accessed this link. So again, from here, they have a view, uh, this is a read only access. They can't actually come in and, and adjust this data, but this is the perfect place for them to go uh, to get that resource that they need to help them fulfill the uh, roles and responsibilities that they're stepping into. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be super helpful. 
If you did and you have some business questions that you'd like to run by us, definitely swing by our website. The link will be in the description and we offer up time so that we can hop on a call with you. You can book directly there and we can set something up that works for both of us. What we'll be discussing is building a solution for you that puts all of your data in one place and gives you a nice concise dashboard so that you know what's happening in your business at all times. Additionally, we will work on building custom bespoke automation for you so that you can eliminate the time that you spend on repetitive tasks and save countless hours every week. So if that's of interest, definitely swing by our website and check out the different offers that we have there.